Hey everybody, Sean here. If you aren't up to date on the Abraham Accords, here's a quick review. We saw in past videos that Donald Trump signed a peace agreement called the Abraham Accords, and it started with the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain. In November, Sudan joined this agreement. And once again, this agreement is separate from the peace agreements of the past with both Jordan and with Egypt. But now Morocco has joined. Whether this is the covenant spoken of in Daniel 9.27 that will be strengthened by the Antichrist, time will tell. But as more Muslim countries join this so-called peace agreement, it would definitely seem that a day in the near future may come where people are saying peace and safety and then sudden destruction will come. And now it would seem that Jared Kushner has taken the next step to further strengthen this two-state solution by launching the Abraham Accords Institute for Peace. And why? To deepen normalization agreements. But as we know, deepening a normalization to separating Israel into two states is not a solution to a problem, but fulfilling a prophecy. We know from Joel 3 that God does not take lightly the dividing of Israel. They've even created the Jared Kushner Garden of Peace and have planted 18 trees in honor of this. This article may be stretching the point by implying the 666 ideals, but then again, who knows? I know there's lots of views on eschatology and Christ's return, but let's finish off with one last thing. The passage is speaking of the day of the Lord, which I'm sure we'd agree is when God's wrath is poured out. We see in Revelation that after the sixth seal, the sun and moon are darkened. And in the next verses, people hide themselves and declared that the wrath of God had come. I think this is important because it shows us that before the sixth seal, God's wrath was not being released. We won't go into detail on this subject, but thought it was worth mentioning. It's also interesting that the book of Revelation is the only book that gives us a blessing to the people reading and understanding it. So let's do what 1 Thessalonians says and be alert, study scripture, and watch for the signs Jesus spoke of. As always, leave your thoughts and comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.